And now, Fight Club, it's time for our main event of the evening. It's the best of the best now. It's going to be a three-round battle. We're going to go to our judges in between the rounds. We'll wait till the end to pick a winner. But now, Fight Club, three-round battle, main event. Are you ready for the main event for this Fight Club? All right, introducing first from Orange County, New York. He's like the Native American population. He's small, red, and no one gives a shit. Bobby Sheehan! <laughs> What's up, Bobby? One of the best roasters in New York City. One of the fight favorites of Comedy Fight Club. How are you feeling going to this main event? I'm feeling good. I want to let it known my opponent is Canadian and I'm American, so a vote for me is a vote for America. USA! 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 I don't hear Shane Gillis! USA! USA! Where is he? Has he left the room? USA! I want to thank him for coming out. I actually, yeah, this is the last time I'm doing this. And, uh... <laughs> For real. And uh, I have a spot in like 10 minutes, so I am going to leave. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I, dude, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not even at the level of you here. <laughs> uh, I don't have a spot in 10 minutes, but I'm going to leave. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to meet his opponent now. He is from Canada. He looks like he sells heroin at skate parks. Ryan Long! <laughs> What's up, Ryan? How you doing? First time here at Fight Club. How you oh, doing? Oh, yeah, this will be fun. There we go. All right, which one of you guys wants to go first in round one? Bobby's going to go first in round one. Ryan's going second. Fight Club, you ready for your main event? Yeah. All right, this fight starts now. Round one, fight. All right, so as I said, Ryan is Canadian. He's also the whitest person I know. Ryan, you look like your only black friend is Justin Trudeau. <laughs> I thought you do five and then I do five. Now it's one back and forth. Guys, we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, Bobby triggers a lot of female comedians because he looks exactly like Louis C.K.'s dick. <laughs> <laughs> if girls for real didn't want to see it. <laughs> if I'm Louis C.K.'s dick, that means I get seen by industry more than you. Okay. <laughs> 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 You look like you're happy Epstein's dead because he never returned your phone calls. <laughs> Bobby escaped Kick a Ginger Day because nobody wanted to touch him. <laughs> yes, his hair is red, but his messages to comedy club bookers are unread. Not a real comedian, just does roast. Guys. Honestly, dude, that was too fucking far. Okay. <clears throat> Ryan's visa says he's an extraordinary alien, uh, but he's also an extraordinary predator. <laughs> Bobby looks like he's the member of the Carnival Freak Show that walked four paces behind the other freaks saying, hey, wait up, guys. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Last joke. All right, Ryan speaks with focal fry, has a nose ring, and wears tight clothes. Uh, so I don't know if you're here to tell jokes or just talk about how rewarding your summer abroad was. Uh, Bobby, again, is not a real comedian, just mainly does roast. This is kind of his whole thing. Uh, his, uh, his big show business dream is to be Matt's job. So <laughs> what he does, actually, he just, uh, when he's at his house, he puts on a leather vest and jerks off in the mirror yelling, Orange is the new Matt. <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? A great fucking first round for your main event. Give it up for both of them one more time. Go to our judges. Kim Condon, what do you think of this fight so far? Uh, really good battle, you guys. You both did really great. Um, Bobby, uh, I've seen you battle a few times. You're always really funny. Um, I, did, I did see you one time at a show get completely naked and then <laughs> make, make out with Tim Dillon. Um, and I saw your red pubes. And I remember one time when I first started comedy, I was 22 years old, and uh, there was this thing called the naked roast that was happening, and I was like, should I do it? And someone pulled me aside, and they said no, because forever, anybody who sees you in the future will always remember what your pussy looks like. And I was like, that is sexist. And you know what? No, it's not. <laughs> All right, so I feel like in Kim's mind, Bobby's in the lead so far. Uh, <laughs> Olivia Grace. Wow, all right. 
right, good, good shit, guys. Really brought the energy up. Uh, it's nice. Uh, love your orthopedic shoes. I wrote a note to myself: be nicer to the battlers. Uh, <laughs> well, you don't have to. You don't have to pick a winner until the end of three rounds. Okay. You can say who you think won that round, oh, but okay. we vote at the end of three rounds. I'm, 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 le- I'm leaning towards Bobby. Uh, good job, Bobby. I, l- I love that. Uh, I've never seen you do comedy without a cold. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, good, good work on that. Uh, that's so I'm leaning towards Bobby. Thank you. All right, Jacob Williams, what do you think of this fight after round one? Oh, yeah, it was great. Uh, I liked the Justin Trudeau joke, so I think... Oh, but I'm not voting, so I don't know why I brought that up. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was just... You can uh, still say you liked a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was good stuff, guys. Okay, Brian Sex. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, wait, which one's Trudeau? Uh, <laughs> Trudeau is the King? Prime Minister of Canada. I like that. It's no, the no, King of Canada. I'm calling Trudeau. <laughs> Uh, yeah, redheaded kid. I love you as Trudeau. <laughs> oh, both of you stunk. And I'll give it to the middle guy. Me? Yeah, you. Cool, You're I great. go on vote. <laughs> Pretty objective. Are comedians doing Xanax vote. now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> we stopped doing coke and we're doing bars now. Is that what's happening? <laughs> okay. Shane Gillis, uh, what do you think? I have a spot shortly. <laughs> uh, gotta hurry this up. If we're not voting, why are we doing this? <laughs> uh, great first round. Round two. Let's right. go to round two. It's going to be four jokes straight through. We'll start with Ryan. Round two starts uh, now. Bobby's, <laughs> uh, Bobby's pathetic, obviously, not a comic. Um, he's the type of guy who his girlfriend would get double teamed by two guys in a bathroom at his birthday party, and he'd forgive her before they were done fucking. <laughs> oh, no, I do them again. Okay. Uh, Bobby's the grossest guy in his crew, and he hangs out with these guys. All right. Bobby looks like the gerbil that he would shove up his own ass. (laughs) One more. Bobby looks like he listens to Kid Rock, and Kid Rock wishes he would stop telling people that. (laughs) Also, that's a little inside baseball, because you need to know that Kid Rock loves stand-up comedy and hates gross guys that just do roasts. Um... (laughs) Bobby Sheehan. All right. Uh, Ryan, you have a real uh, metrosexual white power vibe. <laughs> like you're in the KKK, but you're the head of their activities committee. <laughs> um, Ryan writes for a website called The Hard Times. Hard times is also what he calls when he babysits or hugs a distant relative. (laughs) You look like you buy beer for teenagers just so they'll invite you to their party. (laughs) One more. (laughs) You guys know the game Oogie Cookie? Yeah, it's it's a game where a bunch of men stand around a cookie and they take turns ejaculating onto it. Uh, Well, funny story, in high school, Ryan was the cookie. Give it up for round two of this main event. See where we're at now. Brian yeah. Sex, what oh, do you think? dude, you fucking Ryan got lit up in that, dude. You <laughs> stink. Also, the hard times are gay as fuck, but that was great. Yeah, this guy over Bobby. here. Short guy with the red hair. Yes. You're killing with those mean comments all night, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Williams. Don't, don't, don't try and salvage it now, dude. You lost. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, Bob did really well. Uh, this is like when you use a lot of taller. It's like watching a Jack the Giant Slayer parody called "Jacking Off the Giant Gear." All right, <laughs> that's all I got. Thank you, Shane Gillis. Yeah, it was really good. Both of you guys are doing great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's good. Kim Congdon. Um, really good. Uh, Ryan, you look like Aaron Carter now. Uh. uh Bobby, I think you did really great again. I, uh, my only critique for this round for you is when you described the, what was the name of the cookie thing? Oogie Cookie. Oogie Cookie, you didn't finish it. It's th- a bunch of men, they stand around and they jack off onto a cookie, and the last one to come has to eat the cookie. Um, that's all. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little fact-checking with Kim Condon. <laughs> Olivia Grace. Oh, that was good. That, I like that last joke. It was a bit of a slow burn for me, though. I was like, I think he just called you a cookie. And I'm like, no, he said you're covered in cum. 
<laughs> this fucking idiot. Uh, Ryan, uh, you look like you got sober and you sing songs on YouTube to 14-year-old girls about cutting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I'm leaning again, lean towards Bobby. But this could go either way, guys. It's, fight it's, Club. Uh, we are going to the third round right now. Are you excited for the third round of this fight? <laughs> It's going to be four jokes, tip for tat, starting with Bobby. Round three starts now. Final round. Fight. All right, Ryan, you look like a surfer that specializes in riding cocks. <laughs> You're next. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so you don't watch the roast battles. <laughs> All right. Obviously, Bobby jerks off a whole lot. Bobby's like a cuck who can't get a girlfriend, so he just hires a black guy to fuck his hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a factual statement. <laughs> How do you sound like a valley girl and look like the guy who told her not to press charges? Shots fired! Shots fired! Bobby looks like the government started growing an open micer in a lab and then ran out of funding halfway. <laughs> You look like you get white claw enemas before being pegged by the guys from Good Charlotte. <laughs> Bobby's so boring and nondescriptive that in five years when they rescue the girls from their basement, they still won't be able to describe him to the police. <laughs> yeah, ma uh, ma'am, we're going to need more info than just gross guy who does roasts. <laughs> I've Last been insulted show. a lot, but never nondescriptive. <laughs> I'm, I'm small, I'm red, come on. All right, last joke. Uh, Ryan looks like one of the Queer Eye guys that they couldn't fix. <laughs> like they were trying to fix your wardrobe, but you just kept trying to suck their dicks. <laughs> Bobby's brutal stand-up comedy can be described as a boring one-man show from the perspective of the guy who raped Hannah Gatsby. <laughs> That was one hell of a main event. Fight, leave it over Bobby and Ryan for that main event. Yeah. And we'll start with you guys. Do you think the winner of this fight is Bobby Sheehan? No. Yeah. Or is the winner of this fight Ryan Long? Yeah. Close, I think barely crowd vote goes to Bobby Sheehan. We'll see what our judges say. Shane, we'll start with you. What do you think? Who do you uh, think won? I thought Bobby won. I thought Bobby won the thing. The more. Yeah, Bobby won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shane votes for Bobby Sheehan. <laughs> what do you Can want me to do? Break down jokes? Right? Is that the. That's the job? <laughs> Bobby, you won. <laughs> Kim Condon. <laughs> Um, that was a really good battle. I think that everyone knows that there was, sorry, I want to uh, remember your names. Um, uh, uh, it was really good. Bobby, you look like um, a pimple that you get on your ass. Um, and Ryan, I've never been more sure that someone I've never met has herpes. <laughs> I'm, I just know it, dude. Like, there's no hiding it. Your face says it all. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for you guys both did great. You both had really great jokes. You should both be proud, but I'm going for Bobby. It's another vote for Bobby Sheehan. <laughs> Olivia Grace. Yeah, you guys, that was great. Last round. Uh, paid, paid less attention to that one than the other ones. But I do, I will say, I still leaning towards Bobby. Bobby, uh, you're great. Did you know that your your whole name, Bobby Sheehan, sounds like a slur for Jews with red hair? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad we cleared that up. I wanted you to go the rest of your life knowing that uh, about yourself. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it to Bobby just because I I also like that you, you do not get defensive at all. It's a really hard thing to do, and you're very much like lean with the punches kind of guy. And Love he also and he also looks just like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's quite a compliment. You know, we're going to go home together now because you said that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Non-defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby getting raped later tonight, I'm pretty sure, but Brian yeah, said I, I, uh, I like uh, no eyebrows. You're right. 
Also, where are your eyebrows? <laughs> Have we not noticed this? Where's this kid's eyebrows? <laughs> All right, you guys are fucking pussies. But this kid has no eyebrows. So he was throwing roast jokes out. I like the kid in the purple shirt with the work boots on because I'm from Philly, and you look like you're struggling. <laughs> are you in the union? Uh, no, I, I'm short, so I, I don't give a uh, shit. Boots too. <laughs> Jacob Williams. Um, all right. Yeah, uh, Kim said Ryan looks like he has herpes, although he doesn't actually get any spots. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I, I think uh, Bobby did really well. Uh, he probably took it. You both did well, but Bobby took it by a mile. Or, sorry, a kilometer. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Bobby won. Winner of this main event is Bobby Sheehan.